All right, let's review this PEMDAS star problem. Sarah received $120 for babysitting her siblings. She had to split the money with her best friend who helped her. With the money she had left, she spent $5 a day for four days on lunch. She then earned $15 completing extra chores around the house. It says, based on this expression, what is the amount of money Sarah had remaining? So you can see that we don't have to create the expression from the word problem. They actually give us the expression. And remember, it's an expression because it doesn't have an equal sign. So our job is going to be to apply PEMDAS to this equation or expression in order to solve. Okay, so again, we didn't have to, to use the information here because they gave it to us in this problem. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just rewrite my question so that I have lots of room for my PEMDAS, okay? So I can see I have multiple operations. I have division, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. So because I have so many operations, I'm gonna go ahead and write out my PEMDAS. Okay, and then I'm going to circle anything that I see. So in this case, I see division, and I see subtraction, I see multiplication, and I see addition. So in this particular PEMDAS problem, we do not have any exponents or PEMDAS, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with multiplying and dividing. And remember, when you multiply and divide, we move smoothly from left to right. So just to kind of sneak in my problem here, I, I have these parentheses, but remember there's nothing to solve in this parentheses. So these parentheses actually represent multiplication. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of place my multiplication dot there to remind me that that is multiplication, okay? So again, I'm starting with my multiply and divide and I am moving smoothly from left to right in the problem. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna start moving. Oh, there's division. So because it comes first, I'm gonna box it and that's the first problem I'm gonna solve. So $120 divided by, or two, divided by two, yes. So 120 divided by two. If you don't know, you can come off to the side and divide it, okay? Using all those strategies we taught you. Two doesn't go into one, but it goes into 12 six times, leaving zero. Bring my zero down, because remember I have to divide all the way to the decimal. Two goes into zero, zero times. So 120 divided by two is 60. Now that I've solved that, I'm gonna cross it out, and I'm gonna bring down everything else in my problem. So I have minus five times four plus 15, okay? So I'm still going through my PEMDAS. I'm still on my multiply and divide step, so I'm still moving from left to right. So I keep moving, and I see oh, that's subtraction, okay? Oh, there's some multiplication, okay? So I box it, <clears throat> and I have five times four. So I'm gonna rewrite everything else, 60 minus plus, and then 15. So five times four is 20, okay? I'm done with that, and I have eliminated all of my multiplying and dividing, so I'm gonna mark that off. And now we can move on to adding and subtracting. And remember, adding and subtracting is just like multiplying and dividing in that we move smoothly from left to right across the equation or expression. So moving from left to right, this time subtraction comes first. So I'm going to box it. And I'm gonna say 60 minus 20. If you don't know it, you can stack them. Oops, and subtract. <laughs> I wrote the answer. 60 minus 20, which is 40. Okay, we mark it off and write it below. And we rewrite everything else, plus 15, okay? I am still working through my add and subtract step, so I'm gonna box my last operation, 40 plus 15. Again, if you don't know it, you can always stack them. Um, just so you guys know, the magic word for this problem is sky, sky. 
Okay, magic word is sky. And then let's finish up. Zero plus five, I mean, yeah, zero, zero plus five is five. Four plus one is five. And therefore this is 55. I solved it, so I mark it off. So looking at my answer choices, look, none of these are right. <laughs> So my answer should be positive 55, okay? Looking at my answer choices, none of those were right, so the answer should be positive 55. That's just a typo. All right, there shouldn't be any questions. If you have questions, ask me or Ms. Cups or Ms. Talamantes, and you have your PEMDAS, don't forget to write it out, circle the operations, and just work your way down, okay?